I was diagnosed with melanoma when I was 24. It was on my chest. Uh, my mum found it actually. We hadn't seen each other in about three months and we went out for lunch one day and I happened to be wearing a V-neck top and her eye just went straight to it and she said, that thing on your chest has changed. I want you to go go see someone about that now. And me being a 24-year-old who thought I was completely invincible didn't. I promised her I would go the next day. My friend and I, I remember very clearly, we had tickets to the midnight screening of Twilight New Moon, which we'd been waiting for for about a year. And that that was all, you know, that was on my to-do list for that day and I, nothing else was going to get in the way of that. And so we went to the screening, probably didn't get home till about 4 a.m. And so when I woke up the next morning, I didn't want to go to my appointment. I wanted to sleep. And then it wasn't until my mum called me again that morning to make sure that I was going to my appointment that I was like, all right, all right, I'll go. And then I went, it was just a regular skin cancer clinic and I went in and I sat down. I must have been wearing the same top and he said the same thing. He was like, are you here about that thing on your chest? <laughs> because that's got to come off. He then reassured me that probably wasn't going to be malignant because I didn't, I didn't have a family history, which was probably the other reason why I was so blasé about the whole thing. And he, he took it off. He did a biopsy. He sent it away. Um, I went on about my business and then he called me a couple of days later and said, can you come back in and can you bring someone for support? Which, you know, kind of knew then that it wasn't great news. And then I went in, me and my dad, and he had my results there on the table. And he was, on, he was already on the phone to hospitals as I walked into the office and I could hear him talking and he was trying to get me in for surgery. And he was, had, was on the phone to the closest one that he'd been able to get in. They said, you know, we can get her in tomorrow or Friday and he was just I just remember him saying on the phone like she doesn't have till Friday and so my first surgery he did then and there in his skin cancer clinic office because he was like I need to get it out I need to cut more out after that surgery those results got sent away they came back they said they needed um, more surgery more skin pretty much they it was just a series of surgeries. This, by this time, I was in the cancer center at RPA. Um, and over a period of about three months where they just kind of kept cutting out more and more of my chest, basically trying to work out where it had spread to and, and at, at what point it had stopped. And then finally, three months later, um, they was diagnosed with stage two and told that they were now 100% sure that they had got it all. Um, and then from then on, my it was just a lot of checkups. I think from then on, I was checked every three months, um, you know, mainly mainly making sure that it hadn't spread, that it wasn't going to show up somewhere else. They were, because it was so close to my heart, in so close to my glands, their biggest fear was that it had gotten into my lymph nodes. And there was a lot of, a lot of talk about where to go from there. But in the end, they decided to, you know, it was to just wait and see. And very luckily, it, it hadn't spread into my lymph nodes. So in that way, I was very much one of the lucky ones because it would have been a whole other ball game if it had. And, and then that's when my life kind of shifted and it all became about, you know, prevention and, you know, talking to other people about it and, and educating myself about it, which was the most important thing. And so now I'm, I'm basically the sunscreen lady. That's what my friends call me. If I could speak to 16-year-old Monica, I would say, don't worry about it. There's going to be amazing breakthroughs in spray tans later in life. Don't worry about being tan now. It's not important. <laughs>